OEM mag extensions on Glock pistols look really cool and allow you to get a little more capacity out of your stock magazines. However, I've seen situations where the extensions are installed incorrectly and they actually hinder magazine capacity. In this video, I'm going to show you how to remove the mag extensions and then properly reinstall the mag extension. Our mag in this video is capped at 12 rounds because the spring isn't seated correctly and it actually is binding on the inner plate of the extension. You can tell something is rattling around when you shake the magazine. We'll need to disassemble the magazine to fix it. To remove a mag extension, you'll need to clamp down on the sides of the mag extension while removing the plate. While this can be done with your hands, it is difficult and requires a lot of grip strength. It's way easier to just clamp the mag in a vise, then with light pressure on the sides, just slide the mag extension off. Make sure the spring is properly seated within the inner sleeve of the mag extension. While this is a lone wolf distributing extension, the OEM Glock extensions are exactly the same design. Note that the mag extensions typically are slotted so that the inner sleeve slides into the extended base plate. The inner sleeve not being aligned correctly can also cause issues. With the spring seated properly in the inner sleeve, hold the inner sleeve down with your thumb while sliding the base plate back into place. The inner sleeve should sit nearly flat with the bottom of the base plate. You can verify this by poking into the bottom of the base plate with a small Allen wrench. If it's not sitting nearly flat with only a slight recess, wiggle it around until it slips into place, or disassemble again and reinstall until you get it right. Verify by loading the magazine up and ensuring that you have that plus two round count for nine millimeter or plus one for 40 Smith & Wesson. That's it guys, I hope this video was helpful to you. If it was, please consider subscribing to the channel. I hope you have a great day.